ったねー。Okay, this is the Hario Suiren. Um, it's a new breed of V60. So basically, it has the same ribs, the spiral ribs of a normal V60, except it doesn't have walls. So I just took out the base. Um, it doesn't have walls, and the ribs are detachable. So you can actually remove them from the actual um, attachment base, right? And these gaps right here, there, those gaps um, doesn't have walls. So it's the only um, difference of the Soiren versus a normal V60. So for today's episode, we're gonna test um, the difference in drawdown of the Soiren versus the normal V60. Um, we're gonna use the size 02 because um, the Soiren is uh, it's basically a size 0 2. I, I think I want to start with the uh, um, physical differences first. So of course it doesn't have walls, number one. Um, I want to check the gap of the um, ribs. So the gap of the ribs of the Soiren is about 20 millimeters at the top which is actually the same as the normal V60. Um, if you look at the underside, like the middle hole there, yeah? So the middle hole, I am measuring from one rib to another. Okay, and we have 18 millimeters. Now I want to measure the inside of the um, V60. So the gap of the normal V60 is same, 18.1. Another thing to uh, measure is the gap of the ribs under. So like at the exit hole. So I am measuring like 2.7, 2.7 millimeters on the normal V60 and yeah, it's exactly the same. So um, physically, they both have exactly the same measurements except for the walls. Alright, um, next test that I want to do is to put paper in it and check the actual flow rate of both of the drippers without coffee grounds, all right? So I'm gonna get a scale. Let's put back the base of the Soiren. So to prepare the paper for the Soiren, you prepare it as if you are preparing for a normal V60. Now let's get that paper saturated before we do our test. All right, so I have a theory that because it doesn't have walls, it actually doesn't allow more bypass instead of adding bypass to it. So this theory actually stems from the V60 itself. If you watch your V60 closely while you're um, brewing with it, you will see within the gaps, like an air gap between the wall and the paper, and you will see that the water is actually getting sucked into that air gap. So my theory is the Suiren doesn't have that air gap, so there is no suction, there is no air pressure. Right, so for the first test, we're gonna measure 100 ml. Okay, now we're gonna time it and see how fast it brings down all the water without coffee grounds first. Timer.
Right, so the drawdown peaked at 13 grams per second. Now we're gonna try the normal V60. So we're gonna measure 100 ml again. Timer. Right, um, this is actually surprising. Um, we peaked at 12 grams per second and finished at 26 seconds. Now, um, I actually want to try and put coffee beans in here. Okay, so we have 15 grams on both of the drippers. Before we start the test, I just want to saturate both of the coffees. Um, properly bloom it so that we lessen the variable that we we have okay it doesn't matter how how much water I put in this stage just as long that we manage to degas the coffee grounds now let's measure 100 ml and then we're gonna dump it onto the suiren Okay, now we're gonna pour 100 ml water onto the suiren and we'll see and start Right, um, our peak flow rate was 6.5 and we finished at 28 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna try the normal V60. Right, um, it is looking good for my theory. Right, so our peak flow rate was, was at 7.5 and we finished only 24 seconds. So we are four seconds faster. That actually um, helps to prove my point. So with coffee, we are, you, we are using the same um, same paper filter, same temperature of water, same um, TDS levels of water, and same coffee grounds with the same grind size. But the V60, the normal V60, which I, I expressly thought that has more bypass, finished a lot faster and has a higher flow rate when you have coffee grounds in it. Meaning there is something that is trying to stop it under, right? The first test without the coffee grounds, it was actually our control. So the V60 finished um, longer with the first test, but when we actually put in coffee grounds and we introduced um, kind of a, a restrictor for the water flow, it actually tried, the water actually tried to move out faster. So we have higher flow rate and we finished earlier than the Suiren. So my test actually supports my theory 
that the Suiren has less bypass than the normal V60. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but this is what my data is showing me, right? So maybe I can shoot some, um, some, some videos of the water escaping onto the walls of the V60, um, but not in the case of Soiren. But yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!